Autobots This isn't the type of welcome I had in mind. Who cares? What's up, everybody? I am George, the 80s Transformers fan. Welcome back to another one of my reviews. And I got a big box from Big Bad. And I'm going to get right inside of it. You know the title of the review. You know what's inside the box. Ordered this a couple of weeks ago. I had it for a minute. Like, with my schedule, it's kind of hard for me to get around to things and review the things I want to do in a timely manner. But I'm tired of having this in the box and in the corner, I'm tired of my wife complaining. So I'm gonna get it open. Here's my invoice. Here's a little advertising card from Big Bad. And at the top of the box is the meat of the review. It is Masterpiece Thrust. I didn't get this thing when it first came out for a few reasons and now I got it for like 50, 60 bucks off it. So moving on to the heart of the review, Takara Tomy Transformers MP11 NT Thrust and um, basic Transformers Masterpiece Box is a product shot of Thrust in his jet mode and his robot mode. Side of the box, nothing special, the silver foil writing. Same thing in the product shot on the back of Thrust and all the things that he does and the contents of the box. And I see we have the same little holographic pilot. Really no new accessories. That's I'm so tired of the Jets that with them not putting in any type of accessories. It's bad enough we got with the limited um, amount of articulation in the legs. But I'll get into that. And over here there's Thrust. It says actual size down here at the bottom of the box. A whole lot of stuff um, I cannot read and everybody says that when they review these guys and top of the box is a shot of thrust so I'm gonna cut it open because I like to unbox on camera it actually wastes a lot of time but what I do out of the box nothing else in there as usual yeah, I didn't buy him when he first came out because I kind of got fed up with the jet modes and, and them not really not giving us anything. But I wanted Thrust for a long time. He was my favorite of the second three Seekers and probably my third favorite jet, period. Here's an instruction booklet. Bio card. I'm probably not going to open that because I don't need to. I like keeping some of the stuff nice and fresh. Keeps the whole thing new for me. Here he is in his clamshell. And as you can see, I don't even count his, uh, his bombs as accessories and I guess the pilot the holographic pilot is like his only accessory and then they wanted like $189.99 when it first came out like hell no so it, I guess it's sort of on clearance now I'm big bad and I got it for $129 so that, that's a lot better that's kind of where maybe they should be and when they ever make it in the United States it'll be like $70, $69.99 or lower which I'm still trying to figure that little mess out here is thrust out of the box. It's so refreshing to see a new face, sculpt, and a slightly variant body. Move him to the side just for a second and get the remainder of his accessories out of the box. If I can. Okay, that guy doesn't want to cooperate. We're going to move on to the bombs. Kind of unique, the little short bomb things. Interested to see how they work. I look like the other ones collapse. Get this little pilot. I mean, he's in there really good. All right, got him to pop. Take a look at his little holographic pilot. So I guess if another jet crews up next to him, they can see someone sitting in a cockpit. It's completely a clear translucent. Most of the guys are like the color of their jet or a smoky color. I think Starscream's was actually a transparent blue. So what's up with that? Has a little molded in detail in there if you can see it. Should be able to see it. 
And that this is like truly his one accessory. I don't even count these because they're like part of him. All right, get this guy over here. He has some ties on his arms and he's not quite standing up straight. And then he's feel, he feels a little flimsy in a lot of areas just immediately out of the packaging. Back him up a little bit and it looks like his cannons collapse. Take these, I guess I should cut them off. That off of there. That off of there. I love it when they're packaged in robot mode. Like the ones in, I guess, yes, yeah, missiles collapse. That's a little bit different than any one of the missiles I've ever seen so far. Must be part of this jet mode transformation. I'm not sure what these do, but I'll get to that. So here he here he is. He's got a little bit of um, crimson red going on, burgundy type. He has some black, he has some gray, some purple, some yellow, and a little bit of gold in here. It's a little loose. You can see his Decepticon symbol. He looks pretty good. Looks great, but it's that same mold that's pretty limited. Turn him around to the back. You can see his giant, giant wang hanging out down here. And he... Now the first thing I'm going to do now is go over his articulation. His paint looks good, so I'm going to move on. And before I even do that, I just want to state that with all these jet bodies, they could have been a lot better with a little bit of effort. And I'm going to get into that now. Coming to his head, it is pretty much free floating and bobbing around everywhere. Um, he can look left and right. This is as far as it will turn. I don't know if the... Oh, you can bring it out. It was 360 if you pull it all the way out. So it has a lot of motion there. It's, it's meant to sit back here between the two towers next to his head, shoulder towers. Um, he can look down. And when he's looking dead into the top of the cockpit, but he can look down that much. You can take him and you can have him look up. And yeah, a lot of things are popping free. I mean, this thing really, really feels like a KO. I'm so happy that Big Bad doesn't sell KOs, but it feels like a KO. He can look up that far, and I can see his gold eyes in there. Some light on that. Little golden eyes and his little ghost white face. Coming to his shoulders. On the shoulder, that's pretty good. Completely 360s, you can get his arms out. This far to the side, he has a bicep swivel, and that, that's excellent. The arms are excellent. He has a double hinge for his transformation at the elbow, which is very cool. You come down to his wrist, the wrist on both hands, 360. Then we come down to his hands itself. Uh, he has the one ball jointed thumb. That's the only articulation in the thumb. The index finger has two points of articulation. Well, I guess it swivels, so three. You can actually turn it. Why would you want to? I don't know, but it's a ball joint in there. And then the other three fingers are mitten style. And it has two points of articulation, so you can close the hand up here and he can point at you. And like all the jets, they didn't put anything, well, I guess a little bit at the waist. But they could have did something a little bit better than that. Because uh, you could move this and you could have had it turn more. And again, this guy is very loose to me. But he, he has a little bit at the waist. And after we hit the waist, we come down to the leg and the upper thigh. He can get this, his leg up this far. It could be a lot better if these panels on all the jets had a little bit more clearance. And that's pretty much all he can get. And I like to see these guys on the stand. Oh, speaking of stand... He does. There's there's no stand in the box, and that's kind of weird. Like, there's no stand. And maybe I'm thinking about the American version, but again, that's as high as you can get it up. So if you had him on, if you did have a stand, he wanted, like he was coming in for a landing. You can't get a lot of pose, even though it looks a little bit higher than Starscream, Skywarp, and Thundercrackers mold, and Ramjet for that matter. I have Ramjet. I don't have Dirge. Dirge is next. My least favorite of the three second wave jets was Dirge, so he's next. But um, as much as you can get there, 
he has an upper thigh swivel there. Uh, I just showed you the knee. Below the knee, I don't think there's anything. Nope. Then you come down to his foot thing and it swivels and you can fold it up and that's all there. He has a stabilizer. And that's pretty much for his articulation. And it is, there's not a lot to the Jets. You know what I want to say? And uh, to not package anything and then they originally tried to get 180, I think it's 179.99, 189.99 for these guys when they first came out, and I, I just, I, I literally waited. I didn't know if they would have a price break like this, but I just, I was like, I'll get them whenever I get them. So <laughs> here he is. So I don't know if this counts articulation in robot mode. His wings, you can fold his wings back out of the way or back up front where it's cartoon accurate and G1 toy accurate. And yeah, he, he's kind of, I'm moving around and every, nothing's going back where it came from and yeah, man, this this guy is really loose. It's kind of a pain. And his, he has the chest bombs with a little dab of white paint. Not a whole lot good going on in there. Or is it silver? Silver paint in there for his chest bombs. That's pretty much standard. He has a little bit of silver in there, the outer vents, intakes, or whatever they are. So that's pretty much this guy in, oh, the little vertical takeoff vents spin, which is a really nice touch. I completely forgot. That he also has some silver paint apps over here. And I thought it was like a little trick of the light and some silver here. That's different from most of the jets that I've ever seen. I guess a lot of them have it here, but I don't know about the little pinstriping right there. He has some silver in his waist bits right here. Molded in detail between the legs. But other than that, he's pretty much the other the wing difference in the, the knee pads. He's pretty much same old, same old jet. So I'm gonna get this guy transform. And here he is in his F-15 variant military is what they call it on the cartoon i think um spike or chase called them military jets those military jets are going to land at the airport and to, to explain what they were they must be some secret prototype they actually look like something from cobra's military from gi joe the cobra knight lander or something cobra la 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 okay the goal with the features and thrusts um military Futuristic jet mode on the rear of the plane because of the transformation. These little things rotate these fins, but you can also position them. Um, I guess if he's pulling up or something, which is pretty cool. And then the sides actually fold out. I don't know if this is for a deep dive or something like that. Or I don't know if he shares this actual feature with dirge. I don't have dirge yet, but it looks like dirge fins as well. And maybe that's something for that jet. And you can open up the engine covers and check out the little engines, even though I don't know how accurate that is in there. It's a little molded in detail. All right, coming around to the little boosters. They are articulated. They can move up and down, and they actually rotate. Well, I don't know why they rotate, but it's in there. I'm not arguing with it, but it rotates. And his little vertical takeoff vents rotate. I showed you that. And you come around to the front of the jet, the nose cone opens and reveals a pretty well painted radar dish standard on all these toys. You can open up his cockpit, take the little translucent holographic pilot, put him in there. And because he doesn't peg in, when you close it up, you can actually play Yahtzee. Yeah, so he's just rattling around in there. And you come around to the bottom of the jet get his landing gear out his rear landing gear you just push right here and press right there open up this little panel and reveal the little die cast painted landing gear in here this whole little piece is die cast and it comes down to a little plastic tire and it's painted pretty well then with the missiles you fold these things up I'm not sure if they go to the front or to the back right they could go, I think it looked better this way, but I kind of think it goes that way. But I'm going to swing it around. 
Okay, so it has two guns. Then you add these missiles for the cartoon accuracy. On the G1 toy, it plugged in right here, but on this one, it has it plugged in right there for the cartoon accuracy because that's how it was drawn. I guess on the cartoon, they were trying to make these guys look a lot different than the first season Seekers. Remember the episode where he shot these bombs at the Insecticons? Rusted, encrusted cockroaches! And that's pretty much everything you get out of this guy in his jet mode. Rolls pretty good. And one last thing, the Decepticon symbols are done very well. That little white background, all my little paint is done well. On so here is Transformers G1 Thrust. Um, a toy that I loved playing with as a kid. We are going to take a look at the similarities and the differences. And one of the biggest differences, and I don't think it was like that in the cartoon, but it may have been. This little back panel here has blue on it. Why, I don't know. It's um, crimson, burgundy here. Maroon, whatever you want to call it. Well, this is more maroon than this is crimson red. And, of course, he's missing the little striping here because the cartoon people did was too lazy to draw it in. He has the gigantic Decepticon logos here. And the vents do not spin. And you can see the, the difference in, as the missile falls out, the difference in the paint where you have the black here and then the gray here. But this gray is a lot more dark and metallic-y that they didn't do on the cartoon. And I think um, just having this so long and having it as a kid and then used to this, when I look at this, I don't like the lighter gray too much. I mean, it's not bad, but I'm just used to this look. I mean, it is what it is. Here he is next to the world's smallest thrust. And here are the two of these guys in robot mode. Okay, so here he is next to Starscream 2.0, where the mold takes his inspiration. And this is, I guess this guy's technically 2.5 version of this mold and you can see where of course the wings are stylized different because he was a different type of jet but you turn them over and they did the legs a lot different and I'll get to that in robot mode and it's, it's very different in this mode and where the landing gear is let me pop the landing gear when landing gear folds out of the knees I guess this, this does it as well but it folds out from the sides and here are these two guys in robot mode. And they look a lot different with the different stylized wings and the knee pads. He looks like a, almost a completely different robot than Starscream. And here he is with Masterpiece Ramjet. And I really love what they did with Ramjet with the um, the white and the, the brighter red than Thrust has. I think they, had, they shared the same red, I think, in the G1. But anyway, in the bombs, I think this guy is better. This is my favorite character, but I think this masterpiece is better. But um, I brought this guy out to show you that they share the same molding, if you didn't already know, with the knee pads underneath, with the, the what I'm calling a 2.5 version of this mold now. Only difference is the wings, which are stylized different. Different enough, as opposed to Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. And it makes you not feel as cheated buying the same mold over. I don't know if you feel cheated, but uh, it makes these guys feel a lot different than Starscream, Thundercracker, Skywarp buying those guys back to back to back a couple times. Because I bought the, the first 1.0 version, I got the 2.0 version of the guys. But anyway, Ramjet Thrust, Jet Mode. And here he is with Ramjet in Robot Mode. And these two guys look a lot more alike, but because of the color differences and a little bit more detailing in the waist and the white face, he jumps out a little bit more in this mold. And speaking of face, these two guys have two separate faces. I think maybe the whole head scope is the same, but this guy has a snarl on his face. And it looks like I chipped a little paint off the nose transforming this guy. He has different painted eyes. And a different look on his face, which I really, really appreciate. I, I really like that. I got I was getting tired of the um same old, same old from the other seekers. They didn't even try to give any of the other guys a, a smirk or anything like that. 
And here he is with all my other secret jets. So um, if you don't have this figure, I think 129 is a good pickup, and I think that's about as good as it's going to get for this guy. All my paint is, is, is pretty much great. Like I said, other than the nick on the nose, I think I did that, and I have to look at it back to see if it was always there. The no rays are interesting. They fold up, and he's a lot different. to give you something else to do with this mold that most of us has rehashed over and over again. Articulation is pretty cool. And um, it's pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And this is George, the 80s Transformer fan, saying, I'll see you soon. Transform!